Unrealistic U.S. expectations help doom Ukraine's counteroffensive to fail, military leaders say. B.U. Sines Insider Ukraine was unable to break through miles of Russian defenses and sophisticated NATO tactics proved ineffective. Below are your comments. As General Patton would have advised, a good plan, violently executed now, is better than a perfect plan next week. Way too much time was given to the Russians to prepare their defenses in depth, why? CH is the main reason why the Ukrainian counteroffensive was not successful. The slow rolling of Russia proved that waltzing through prepared defenses with Western armor, even with the best Western tanks, supported by high-tech artillery, is not enough. You need air superiority, both in high-altitude interceptors and tactical air support, and a good FL. Anking strategy to make meaningful prog. Those same overzealous military minds that said the Taliban's won't enter Kabul for months. They underestimate their adversary forgetting that Russia is also a military-producing country. I'll think, lesson learned, but I doubt it. NATO underestimated Russia not only in military aspects, but also in Russia's readiness for harsh EC. Onomic sanctions. It also underestimated the will of Russians to continue the fight and Putin's control of Russia. In short, the West underestimated everything. The West media's propaganda, disinform. Zelensky said the winter offensive was going to Crimea. USA didn't make those expectations Zelensky did. Funny how every failure is either somebody else's fault or deemed not strategically important. Next news. Video appears to show Russian soldier saying 81% of his unit was wiped out after a week in Ukraine's most intense battle. Business Insider The man said his comrades were seeing a high death toll in Avdivka, where Russia is pushing hard foe. R.A. Victory Below are your comments. A Russian soldier in Ukraine made the statement. 81% of his unit wiped out, intense battle. Does this not raise a red flag? Does this not sound a bit like a repeat of history? And as a point of historical reference, Mao Zedong sent his intellectuals into battle or sent them. This means that Ukraine is winning and more dollar need to be spent to get this finished. Putin can't afford to lose any more tanks, planes, helicopters and other equipment. But Russian lives are cheap so he can afford to throw those away in vast volumes. The reason why the Russians are losing is because the soldiers don't know what they're fighting for. An unprovoked war under an unhinged dictator. Sounds like a familiar story also for a cultist group that wants to put a similar but orange crazy L. Ooking man into power as a dictator here as well duh. The Ukrainians are prefabricating concrete bunkers. The entire bunker is made in a factory, and then it's buried underground. Fortifications like this may hold out indefinitely, and the people who live inside are comfortable I. N. Winter. They have generators and stoves to make heat and cook hot food. 
Next news. The huge missile barrage on Ukraine that Russia has been saving up for seems to have begun. Business. Insider. Russia has spent months stockpiling cruise missiles for a winter campaign and has now started using them, the UK mod said. Below are your comments. Ukraine's only reasonable option is to start planning on negotiations. If you disagree, explain how things will miraculously turn around for Ukraine and they will push Rus. Sia out, even in Crimea, like Zelensky has stated? Dot. When does the mainstream media admit that the United States derail peace talks earlier this year? This war has to end and there is no realistic way, Ukraine can win what does peace look like? There has to be an exit ramp to this pointless conflict that has cost the lives of. Peace is the best solution for Ukrainians and Russians in eastern Ukraine. The West does not want peace. It's time for Western leaders to call Putin and agree on end to the war. This is their obligation to the people of Ukraine and the Russians in eastern Ukraine. More courage and morality is need. Fortunately Ukraine always bleeps down all the missiles so it's not really a problem. Going to be a cold winter for Ukraine. Next news. Russia is sending its injured and disabled soldiers back to the front lines to fight. Business Insid. Err. According to Russian independent media outlet iStories, the Russian Ministry of Defense recently cha. NGED its rules, enabling it to send troops with severe injuries back to fight against Ukraine. Below are your comments. Russia does not care about their people. The soldiers are expendable to Putin rise up and fight back against your government while you can street. Ill breath. They need more meat for their meat wave attacks that have 80% casualties. Using 19th century tactics uses up a lot of personnel. Well in a war of attrition there are two benefits to this. They are a sponge for Ukrainian fire and the Russian government does not have to support a soldier injured. In action beyond sending the last paycheck to the next of kin. The fact that Russia deployed 300,000 last year and are low on soldiers now, says everything. It doesn't seem that seeing reinforcements arrive walking with crutches would do much to improve the morale or confidence of frontline Russian troops. Next news. Keeping Ukraine's war effort up could be too heavy a lift for Europe alone if Republicans break USS. A port. Business insider. Republicans have been holding assistance for Ukraine hostage, hoping to force Democrats to accept street. Richter immigration policies in exchange for aid. Below are your comments. Would be nice to see what the goal of our continued support of the Ukraine is. What does the endgame look like? Dot. There is no plan to win, only a plan for more billions given away. This article completely ignores the fact that 8 million illegals are roaming our country unimpeded.
Depriving Zelensky of U.S. donations would end the war the next day. Are we expected to endlessly pour billions into that country forever? What's the strategy to end the conflict? Clearly they can't beat Russia, even with our billions. Time to negotiate. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.